Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, wherever you might be in this Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 world. Pip here with another scenery add-on review, and today we're going to be taking a quick look at Rosecki's Designs Midway International Airport. That's Kilo Mike Delta Whiskey Midway International Airport in Chicago, Illinois. So without further ado, you know the drill. Let's take off and check it out. We're departing today on runway four right, one of the primary long runways in Midway. Like some of the inner city airports you might see, these have relatively short runways. Uh, four right, I think a little over 6,600 feet. So if you're uh, taking off, you better get to it. And if you're landing here, you better hold on because brakes are gonna come on pretty quick. <laughs> so as we make our runway heading here on uh, four right you can see downtown Chicago straight ahead which is one of the beautiful things about Midway fairly close to downtown Chicago and another thing you should know and if you're not aware that Midway is a primary hub for Southwest Airlines also Delta Allegiant Valeris uh, also fly into Midway International Airport but it's predominantly a Southwest uh, operation. I think it was something like 75% of all air traffic, or upwards of 80% uh, of all air traffic in mid, in and out of Midway are Southwest Airlines. So right now we're looking off to the Southwest, and you can see the concourses uh, Midway there in the distance. We'll take a closer look. But Midway again, one of these inner city airports. So it's very constrained on space that you have to build but right here off to you, our left here as you can see as we're flying by it that is the consolidated rental car facility for midway as well as additional parking garage and those two hangars are where southwest airlines uh, operate uh, their maintenance facility out of so that's an interesting fact uh, you may not have been aware of so these hangars here are these old hangars from like the 40s and 50s Southwest uses those to operate maintenance operations from. Midway is also known for being the busiest square mile for its size being an inner city airport. It was about 20 years ago that the airport was redesigned. I actually grew up in the Chicago area so I kind of remember what it used to uh, like it looks a lot better now and a lot more organized and clean looking so and Drozeki design is one of my personal favorites they do a great job as far as details small little things high quality PBRs and uh, just do an excellent job as far as transportation options you do have uh, the CTA and as you can see they did a nice job including the uh, subway lines the L there for the trains and it goes right by Midway so you if you're flying in you can take the orange line uh, that's the only line that goes out to Midway you can take that into the city of Chicago so you can see how the ramps go up to the terminal and then what happens is you go to the terminal right by the parking garage there and then you cross over the road through security and then you go to your concourses which is kind of you thing as you see here there in the lower left hand corner midway has an emas at the end of runway four right 22 left and also 31 center and 13 center just because of how short the runways are and we mentioned that before short runways and prevents the uh, runway I should say preventing a plane from potentially running off the runway and into traffic because like i said you're in the city you border a road so here we've got some of the general general aviation uh, hangars and parking, as well as Midway's tower. Did a really nice job, and as you can see here, these these this equipment, all these uh, plow trucks, that's some of the winter plow work that uh, they have at Midway, which is a nice feature. So what I'm going to do, I think, is come in on the 31 center and i don't know if anybody else has had this problem in chicago on the add-on scenery but for some reason 
the, the frame rates aren't as smooth. It's only in Chicago that this is the case, and I don't understand why. But anyways, so we'll make our way here on uh, 31 Center, so a northwest heading. And land quickly, and then go sw swing quickly into the terminal. So we'll do a quick drive-by. Kill the power right there. Make things go nice and smooth. You can see the southwest hangers off to the right. In the meantime, we'll make a landing here. Well, not too much effort. Nice thing is they do have the distance from number remaining. Jazeki Design put that in, which is, of course, if you know me, was one of my favorite features. Adds to the realism and authenticity of the airport is having those distance markers as well. So again, you can see the city of Chicago in the distance. Also, Drzecki has an add-on for the city of Chicago skyline. Highly would recommend it, very high quality. And overall, like I said, Drzecki is one of my favorites for add-on scenery. I purchased this uh, on sale. I think it was like a 20% discount when they were doing the sale. So uh, it's still around 20 bucks, but well done, uh, very much. Look at that, and you've even got uh, static aircraft being towed in and out. That's kind of a cool feature. So the concourses are A, B, and C for Midway. You can see a fire truck driving there. So overall, a really nice job. And then you can see on each of the gates, if you look there, uh, they have the numbers as well as the concourse number. and. There on the ground, the parking number. So this gate we're passing, Bravo 24, for example. Nice job by Drzecki again. So overall, I give this five stars. An excellent job by Drzecki again. It's very personal to me because I've flown out of Midway several times and Chicago is where I grew up. And so they did an excellent job here in designing this and making it as real as possible. Let me know what you thought on the review, what you thought of Midway Airport by Drzecki Design and what you like about it. In the meantime, don't forget to subscribe and like because we have plenty more videos, scenery reviews on the way. But for now, I will bid you adieu until next time on Pip Scenery Review.